Hi, I'm Evan, and join with me is my brother, Eric, and nope. we're about to do... What? That's not right. I'm pretty sure that's right. I'm Joe. No, my, this is supposed to be the Brothers Industry News. I mean, your brother didn't show up, so they called me in from Alaska, and I kind of had to come down here real fast. I was getting ready for the family Thanksgiving cookout, but, you know, clearly this is more important. They needed me here. I showed commitment coming to this show, unlike a certain brother, so, like, I don't know why I'm being disrespected right now. Right, but you're still Eric. For our first story, there are rumors about the Nintendo Switch's lineup. Uh, in the trailer for the Nintendo Switch itself, it had Bethesda's Skyrim, a Mario game, Breath of the Wild, a Splatoon game, and a handful of others. And now, as it turns out, there's probably not going to be Breath of the Wild. And we're still not sure about Skyrim either. So, what do you think about that, Joe? What do I think about there not being a launch Zelda game for the Nintendo Switch? Absolutely. I'm actually pretty giddy about this because <laughs> it's just a little bit funny. They've know. been going on for Zelda and how it's going to be coming out and how it's going to be great to launch the Switch. And now they have to still keep it in production to actually make it good. So do we think that it's still going to launch for the uh, Wii U on time? Uh, probably not, no. From the sounds of it, from uh, the source, it said that it's being delayed across everything because they need to fix a bunch of bugs and they need to like really sort of tighten in on that open world sort of thing. Now Evan, I don't know if you've heard this quote before, but uh, a wise man once said, a good game is delayed but always good, but a bad game does not get delayed and is forever bad. Well, that's fair. But at the same time... Reggie the, was the one who said that, I believe. Okay. Coined that term. Got it. And so, then... I believe in Reggie. Okay, good. As long as you believe in Reggie. From the sounds of it, it actually sounds like there's not too many original, like, new games that are coming out for the starting lineup. Mm -hmm. There's going to be HD Skyrim. There's going to be a, like, half... It's really ambiguous what they're doing with uh, Mario Kart 8 and Splatoon because right. they're adding some new content specifically for the Switch, but they're not like making it entirely a new game. Everything from the old like Mario Kart 8 and Splatoon are still in there, but it's just gonna have a couple of new things. The only new one is the new 3D Mario platformer. You know, I kind of don't want them at the same time because it's almost too much. You can't digest it then, you know? Right, it's too much Nintendo all at once. Right, So, right. Yeah, I can agree with you to where it's like having only one real sort of ho uh, home run hitter is gonna be probably the way to go. Mm -hmm. And even if it was planned to have uh, Breath of the Wild, that maybe having it delayed is probably a better move. And we expect the same thing to happen to Smash Brothers as is with Mario Kart, right? Right. Yeah. So there should be plenty of games to play when it comes out. There you go. Hopefully. Yep. It's a sad day, Evan. It's what? a sad day for the world. Why is it a sad day? Persona 5 has been delayed once again. Uh, this is by news of Atlas USA themselves from their stream. Um, due to some unforeseen demand for dual voices, they have decided to delay the game a whopping seven weeks from Valentine's Day to April 4th. Seven weeks. Now, Evan, how does that make you feel? I'm laughing, to be honest. Yeah, because Evan just loves when good <laughs> games get delayed. He just wants people to be very disappointed. I just want him to you wait. You know what? He just loves drinking the tears of video game fans. Absolutely. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. no, I think the funniest thing is that, like, I recently saw how long this game has been in the waits like wasn't it winter 2014 2014 we are here <laughs> at 2017 all the way in april and this game still hasn't come out yet well to be fair the game is already out in japan it came out in september oh well there Two you go very good reviews so yeah, got that 39 from famitsu baby that's impressive yeah <laughs> yeah. You know what Final Fantasy 13 got? What'd it get? 39. Oh, Very man. impressive. <laughs> Very impressive. Feeling good things about this game. Exactly. Heard some cool stuff going on with it. So why did it get delayed for America then? Why is it... Um, the biggest reason they cited was for dual audio, which was a really big deal for a lot of fans, uh, myself included. I really wanted to be able to play the game with Japanese audio, and now we're finally going to get that. It's just a big deal for people to be able to have the choice to choose both types of audio in like this day and age. So there's no reason why it shouldn't be in there. You know, there's no excuse. It's 2016, people. It will be 2017 <laughs> when this game comes out, all right? Right. 
So it's really, I see it as a win. It really stinks that it's getting delayed seven weeks. Is it a win if it's delayed for that long? <sighs> like, how, how worth it? It's another seven weeks, man. It's another seven weeks. It's I'll fine. Go. It's fine. I still have to laugh because it's Persona 5 and it got delayed five times. So that, that's why it's called Persona 5. So this has been Eric and Evan with Industry News and we're about to sign off. Yeah, you know what? I'm I'm really glad as your as your little brother. You know, I'm a big brother figure to you. I'm your big brother now. No, but I'm the older brother. Not anymore. Oh, okay. All right. Let's get back to the show. Back to the show.